Welcome everybody to Here We Go. Today we are at the St Paul's Underground Station on the Central Line. Just going to go for a short walk around this area and see what it's like outside St Paul's. Have um, black sheep coffee. We seem to have a lot of black sheep coffees around the city of London, which is where we are in the Square Mile. We're just really on the fringe of the city of London. We're now going into Paternoster Row which is part of the Paternoster development. This was a big development that took place here some time ago now. And Prince Charles had a few comments to make about it because it was right near St Paul's Cathedral. So it was deemed to be a sensitive area for development. So this is what they've built here. We're now going towards Queen's Head Passage. During the Second World War this area was badly bombed. But the cathedral did stay intact. Although many of the buildings around it were destroyed. Lots of outdoor dining here. We've had lots of rugs because it's pretty cold today. So this is Paternoster Square we're in now. a large monument in the middle there. Not sure what this is. There seems to be a kind of a fire at the top of it. Not sure whether it's got anything to do with the fire of London or let's see if we can find out what it is. And here's the view of St Paul's Cathedral, just over here, looking beautiful today, with a blue sky. No, 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 it is what it is. You had to. Yeah. The uh, monument here has a waterfall you can hear there quite relaxing in the city don't hear the sound of water very often I wonder whether there's some sort of plaque saying what this is can see the size of St Paul's is very large there. That bit on the right is all part of the cathedral. Yeah, there doesn't seem to be a plaque saying what the monument is here.
So we'll leave Paternoster Square now and go through this arch here which will bring us to the front of St Paul's Cathedral which is the largest cathedral in the United Kingdom. Paul's Cathedral there's something called the Whispering Gallery which is inside the top dome there and if you stand on one side of the gallery and whisper the acoustics of the dome enable someone on the other side of the gallery to hear what you whispered the sound travels around the dome it's called the Whispering Gallery Door shop here called Black. Nice warm clothes for sailing there. This is where lots of famous people have got married. Princess of Wales, Lady Diana, she was called, had an enormously long wedding dress trailing all the way down the steps here. And today the sun is catching the beautiful front of the cathedral really nicely. Have a little walk around the front of the building. Give you a view from the very front. I think the cathedral has been cleaned recently, as you can see, the brick, the stonework has all been restored. Cost of many millions of pounds, of course. They do charge to enter the cathedral now if you wish to go all the way into the cathedral. And there are extra charges as well if you wish to go to the Whispering Gallery right to the very top. As you can see, they're searching people's bags. Sadly, the times we live in, bags have to be searched. And we're now walking around the front of the building. Down this way is Fleet Street, which once upon a time is where all the newspapers were based, all the journalists' offices. And here we have another view from the front. So we'll have another walk around the side here. give you an idea of how big St Paul's is. Mm -hmm. 
let's see if we can go through this way. See how far we can go round. Absolutely huge St Paul's Cathedral just to walk round it. It'll probably take you 10 minutes just to go all the way round. But it is a beautiful building. Here we have some wheelchair access in order to get into the cathedral. We can go up these ramps here. Because there are a lot of steps at the very front of the building. So we'll carry on going all the way around it. And you may be able to see Thames is actually down there. And there's something called the Wobbly Bridge. It will take you to the Tate Modern. So we're continuing our walk around the cathedral. There's some nice gardens on this side. Probably in the summer it would be full of office workers. And we also have a garden over here through these railings, as you can see, all part of the cathedral. So we're carrying on walking round. So this is called the St Paul's Cathedral Churchyard Gardens. The sculpture is called Beckett by Bainbridge Hopnell, acquired by the City of London Corporation, 1973. What's the kind of kunst is that? The building over here is called One New Change and it is a shopping centre. It's supposed to have almost like stealth bomber technology in the architecture so that it, it doesn't detract from St Paul's. 
it doesn't take away from the views of St Paul's it's supposed to just blend into the background so we're now at the very back of St Paul's Cathedral about halfway round I suppose or just over halfway round nice gardens here there seems to be some school as well over here I hear children playing over here we have a memorial with the red poppies on the ground. So we're now going all the way around the cathedral. As you can see there are sculptures at the top. And you can actually go to the very, very top and walk outside on the top of the dome. During the summer, this area is full of tourists. But today, it's quite quiet, quite peaceful. I have another statue here. What's this one? John Wesley father of Methodism so we've almost done a complete circle now around here coming back to Paternoster Square now where we'll finish this video I hope you enjoyed having a look around uh, St Paul's today from St Paul's Station on the Central Line and we look forward to joining you, or you joining us and us joining you very soon. And here we go. Take care everybody, hope to see you soon.